Hi, I'm Janice from ReallyKidFriendly.com and today's topic is back to school jitters. So this, this is the first time I've ever been in this sort of situation. I, um, I've got a three-year-old and a four-year-old, so suddenly we're thinking about, you know, September isn't just another month like every other month. Suddenly she's going to be going to school for the first time ever. And I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really strange actually because my daughter is, she'll be absolutely fine. I'm not stressing out for her, I'm stressing out for myself. I mean, she is, she's really sociable, um, you know, she, she's bright, she's confident, and she just loves chatting to people, and she'll just walk in there, she'll have a great time. She'll, she'll love the structure, she'll love, you know, getting, getting to wear her little uniform and everything, and she'll be absolutely fine. Um, it's more me that I'm worried about. I mean, partly I sort of feel like I'm being absolutely pitched in at the deep end, and you know, this is something I know nothing about. It's a whole world um, that I just, I, I sort of can't even picture. And I know if you know that I work for the Good Schools Guide, you're kind of probably getting a little bit freaked out right now because I'm not saying I don't know anything about education or schools in general, but I, um, you know, I, I sort of, I, I do know what it entails. I do know what teachers do. I have worked in education. I have worked in sort of, you know, um, that, that sort of environment before. But for my own child, and in a, in a country that I'm not from, I sort of can't picture what they're going to do with their time and with their days. So I sort of can't, I just sort of can't picture it. There's a lot of really beautiful, bright, shiny little kids in this picture. I'm really not one of them. I want my daughter to be one of the little shiny ones and, and you know, who looks like their, their mom has brushed their hair before they sent them off to school. Um, you know, I really, really want that for her. And I know that I'm going to be you know, 100% involved, I'm gonna get her to school every morning, I'm gonna get her there on time, I'm gonna make sure that her hair is brushed <clears throat> and that she's got the right thing in her lunchbox and that she's got her PE kit. I think I'm gonna struggle um, trying to find a balance between meeting parents and, and, and kids from her class and really getting involved with them and feeling like that's our new community, but also retaining the friends that she's already got and finding a way that we can see them after school when everybody's completely shattered at the end of the school day, how do we kind of arrange little play dates like that so she can keep those friends? So that's kind of, that's sort of playing on my mind a little bit. One of the other big issues for me is that at the moment, um, my son and daughter both go to the same nursery and they're kind of in and out of each, you know, each other's classes all the time and they, you know, they basically spend every waking minute together. You know, they, they literally, they live in each other's pockets. They, they're never apart. And, and when they are apart, my, my little boy gets, he gets really sad, he gets really upset. And, you know, she's, she's fine, you know, she wants to go and do things on her own sometimes, but he really doesn't. And I'm kind of, you know, I'm a bit worried about how he's gonna take it, because suddenly she's gonna be gone. And, you know, she's gonna be going off and doing exciting things with her day, and he'll be there at nursery wondering where she is. <laughs> and and um, I, I think that's gonna be kind of hard for him. We haven't got the option of school dinners, so it's all gonna be packed lunches. Um, and I don't know, I mean, at our school we used to make fun of the kids that had brown bread, and we used to swap all of our different things, and I, I have no idea, I have no idea. So I'm kind of, she's got ideas in her head about what she wants to have for her school lunches. Um, obviously, <laughs> we'll, we'll try and work some of those in, but you know, I, I think it's gonna be a case of like, you know, let's get some ham sandwiches and send you out the door. You'll get an orange for dinner, mm -hmm. uh, I mean pudding, uh -huh. and pasta. Every day you're going to have pasta no. and you're going to, what are you going to have no. the other days? Um, I haven't thought about it yet. There is one thing that I'm particularly excited about and this is the uniform. Okay, so I'm, you know, you've seen from that picture, I... I've never worn a uniform in my life. I basically, you know, you sort of just turned up in whatever you felt like. What about your uniform, Madeline? Can you wear pink, pink and more pink as your uniform? No, blue. Blue? Yeah, all blue. All blue, everywhere. But shoes black, shoes mm -hmm. black. And, and blue shoes. socks? White socks. White socks. And what, what, about, what were you going to say about your shoes? Shiny black shoes, I said, silly Billy. I'm kind of hoping that, that those people are going to post some videos about what you should actually do to get ready in the next few weeks before school starts because I'm sort of just, uh, yeah, I'm just going to spend my time kind of going and, and hoping for the best really. Um, I kind of, I haven't really got any practical, um, <laughs> I just haven't got any ideas about what I could do practically to get ready. Um, so yes, well, that's it. I, that's been absolutely no help at all to anyone, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway.